Who am I coaching? Uh, who are we coaching, Acapella? We are coaching Mentos Frost. They are a 2.6k console on a player. Two, wait, 2.6k console on a, that's what you're saying. Yeah. Okay. All right. Let's see here. Okay, this is. Uh, was this recent? What do you mean? These comps are weird, dude. It's plat. Yeah, but still, <laughs> I wouldn't think I'd see Chicken Z King Z on the Arisa. XD Cobra Z King Z. Oh, they're a duo. So that's they're no, that they're running sense. hog. Okay, they're running hog Arisa. Okay, that makes sense. Okay, what what else? Oh, All right, man. So, have you started talking about the comps to start with? No. <laughs> Those I names literally are console. I'll do the uh, dude. I'll talk about the comps. Your comp sucks ass in this meta right now. You want to know why? Uh, well, I mean, you can't really stop anything. But uh, the win conditions with your comp, we'll go into that actually. You have Ana Lucio, which is just it's pretty solid. It's pretty solid, but you're running like a weird spam comp, which which the uh, Arisa Hog, which I mean, like that's kind of weird. I mean, to run, like, your your brawl, like, fast supports, because you have that speed boost with the uh, spam, so that's a little weird. And you're running a Widow Echo, which is kind of spam-oriented. So, I mean, that's all right. Um, wait, what the hell? Oh. Your, your stream was weird for a second there. I don't know why. Um, I would say that you're, who you're trying to nano here is probably an Echo Dupe onto the Reinhardt. That's a pretty good win con, or you could nano the hog after a big yeah, hook, I maybe. Say, yeah. Or I I think I mm, I think mm, I think Echo Echo Ryan nanos are pretty pretty freaking solid in my opinion. You could especially when you can like come from behind your Risa pulls, you can look for a pin in there, but eh, yeah, it depends really what you're looking for. Oh, those are two pretty viable. And did you? Yeah. It just started for me now, the round, which is oh, fine. Boy. Okay. Why is that really behind? Oh shit! Let me reset player. <laughs> oh no. Okay, now nah, I'm at like you just stopped at 52. Oh boy. Okay. Uh, Screw it. Let's just go. Let's just go. It's yeah, gonna be a little just, scuffed, but that's okay. We go, we, go, we go for these. Sorry. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. So, biggest thing to, for sure to note with uh, the way Aris is nerfed, you're not safe behind your shield anymore. So we gotta make sure that we're playing for that, uh, playing for that, being able to survive if it goes down. So it's, it literally, it's already broken. I don't like the initial easy. positioning. It's good, but it's not the best. Yeah, initial positioning. I I generally play like around this corner here. Ah, uh, dude, you're even wrong, man. What's going on? I think so where 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 you go where up, you go up, go up, go up, go up. Like literally right above that. Like on uh, the high oh, ground. Oh, up here on the high ground here. And then okay like you see that corner like yeah the one you're looking at right now so that corner right there gives you the most versatility 100 percent. i see it because if you're if your tanks want to step into them and if you guys aren't familiar with the word step pretty much just int okay that's uh walk into their team and kill them if they want to be aggressive that's a good word if they want to be aggressive you can just jump down to where you said acapella and yeah. you're safe there. Um, if they are pushing in, your tanks are doing pussy shit. You can back up to that window back, like uh, that yeah. looks over points. And if they go left and jump on you, you can then uh, drop and rotate. You can drop and rotate. I think that's really good. Now the only thing is like, oh well, I can't really see my tanks in choke right there. Well, like your tanks shouldn't be taking spam to begin with. And if they do, there's actually a sight line right next to that, like, weird top right window that you can, uh, that, like, they can sit there and you can barely get them, but you can still get them. Yeah. But I, that's my, my personal thing that I've kind of learned from this map. It's, it's just my personal way of playing it, but the way that he's starting isn't bad. Oh, is it, what are the pronouns I'm supposed to be using here, by the way? Too? Uh, it's a he. Okay. Uh, he yeah. could uh, honestly, uh, be playing there too. I like L Lopel used to play there as well, but I'm just trying mm -hmm. to give you more of an initial place and like where you can rotate to. But yeah, it's your VOD review, man. Yeah, for sure. 
Um, Cute kitten I, I four 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 seven. You know, you're the you're the top five hundred here for a reason. <laughs> so uh, I I generally like here because uh, obviously you can't see the comp for the first fifteen seconds. And if a widow decides to grapple to that top right window, uh, and your widow doesn't kill her immediately, you can potentially be caught out here. Whereas with here you're a little bit safer, but <laughs> it's I, honestly it, it can generally be personal preference depending Shit, on you know, if you know what the enemy comp is. This guy's play. aimbotting his crosshairs uh, like, trying right to take too sure smoothly. <laughs> to play it because there's necessi not Cute necessarily a lot of cover four, 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 uh, except for in here but if you're in here you're not able to see your team really at all so yeah hey uh what were like the main points that they were uh struggling with that they said so let me let me check the channel real quick um so he said this one just felt like a game i couldn't change the outcome uh, I had a stupid death here and there, but they weren't insanely brain dead. Maybe I should have pushed Zana, but I was worried about the one shot potential they had throughout the game. Uh, it looks okay. like he said he switched to ba he switches to BAP as well. Um, okay, felt pretty good for the most part, but I'm sure there's plenty of positioning clues. Could have been better. Also tried changing positions a little to avoid the Hanzo. So it looks like so main thing he said he, he couldn't change the outcome of the game. Okay, very... like that's like a min maxing thing. And I I don't want to overload with information. Sure. But you know what? Screw it. Let's. I'm just gonna say what I want to say, and we'll go for it. Sure, sure, sure. <laughs> so, all right, we'll go ahead and watch her then. Yes. Oh man, I'm behind. Oh boy. It's okay. Hey, we'll, we'll be on the same thing. We'll see the same things. Yeah, pretty much. Okay. Just a quick early nader. Okay. Just tell me if you want me to stop. By the way. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, not too bad of a not too bad of a first fight. Um, just be careful about you know scoping down too much. I, you know, yeah. I mentioned that I've mentioned that before, especially with snipers, it's really easy to kill you. Especially communicate to your in, tanks not to step there super hard, and if they are stepping, you can go up to that uh that corner. Yep. Yeah. Okay, reloading. Okay. Reloading it. All right. I mean, the nade wasn't awful. It was a predict nade, which is fine. Bit interesting positioning here. Uh, maybe this is to avoid the Hanzo. Um, we need various like, right honor reviews. He would never do that, I don't think. That, like, if at all. That's not his type of content. These tanks yeah, be stepping I think, I think on my you're balls. just trying to avoid the Hanzo here. But, but I like you know, CBT sets. Like, once funny. again, we kind of talked about like just playing around this left side. Um, even up top here can keep you safe from that Hanzo instead of having to rotate uh, across yeah. the super open position on point. Like you had to, you had to cross a super dangerous area to get to a semi safe area. Right. Yeah. And like, even if you go behind with the bell, there's still plenty of space for him to see you and headshot you right here that you don't necessarily want to put yourself in. So, you know, don't get, don't get like, Probably like four point three consistent. Sitting in a position to, for too long, you peak. can literally hold the same position. I really should be four point five. Want, it's just I, I don't safe, play meta right? enough. No, I don't, don't feel care. like you have to absolutely change like drastic positions. Yo, did you know that Gale used to play like that weird like under the pagoda to the right of where he is now? He used he, to play, play like bottom right corner. Right here. It was no 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 like ah uh, right behind. Wait wait. Yeah, he used to play under that. Why? I, I don't know why. I, I used to play there too until I noticed, wow, that was it's really bad. Unless they constantly go right side. But they're never going to do that. Yeah. Yeah, but keep going. I just wanted for to sure, say sure. that Gale even makes mistakes. <laughs> I'm not a 4K flat brig OTP. Who do you think I am? Right. God damn. That's a good shot. Right. Oh, well, your hog just... Oh. What are they doing? Alting Because I know you haven't played in plat for a while, but it's uh I it's, yeah. it's a it's a lawless wasteland. <laughs> that's that's me. <laughs> oh, gosh. Hey, it's carryable. It's, yeah. Definitely this, yeah, definitely like when we you know, when we have inting tanks like this, like look at where your hog's at right now. Um for sure the thing you want to be looking to to do is take advantage of their tanks, right? Obviously they're on the Arisa hog as well here. Um, that's something you can take advantage of extremely. Ana is such a massive counter versus those two. Those two um, that you know, especially when your tanks are just running it down like this, right? Where they're just 
running into six people expecting to live, you want to be getting as much value out of Nade, uh, Nade and sleep as physically possible. Right there, you toss Nade into no one. Um, obviously, you're, it looks like you were trying to predict the enemy team walking through. I don't know how your hog is still alive right now, actually. <laughs> um, I'm gonna, Dude, I'm gonna throw that Cobra out there. Z Kings, bro. Of course <laughs> he's throw, living. Yeah, the Lucio beat it and saved him, but your hog should not be alive right now. But no. <laughs> your hog so, shouldn't even be there. You should not be here. Your t your team's your team's walking up to Int. Don't follow them. <laughs> go, go. Don't if, if follow it's a, if, them. Well, if it's a hard int like that, where it's just the oh, hog okay. in the enemy I mean, team. You gotta here's the thing. I, I agree and disagree with that. If you wanna win games, you have to you have to be able like that positioning you if your team's gonna step, like you have to be ready to step. Yeah. If, if it's too far of a step, which is what I think you're trying to say, then don't because they're, yeah, yeah, they're yeah. feeding like you're gonna die like if you're gonna die too or if it's gonna force you to use more resources and get less yeah. value out of your cooldowns then don't do it but if you can win a fight based off of how aggressive they're going go for it yeah definitely because like obviously you can turn fights with with uh anti but like I if you're like that was something everyone was doing two years that's ago kind of the one yeah for sure to. i mean like if you have a ball who's like slamming into like a brig sombra, some people like just now got into it as well because maybe they didn't them. have like the xbox or they didn't have a good there pc a difference between inting so... and feeding no it's pretty much the same thing mm, uh, yes it is the same thing but the it, they have aggression yeah it's it's different and different yeah. elos ba basically in inting is like the act of like you know running in and dying uh feeding refers to like giving ult charge um yeah that's the, pretty much that it was like you're, you're feeding the enemy team ult like i did my 10 hours a day it, grind ranked up to top 500 a long ass time yeah dude i grinded a lot so. to get decent and i'm still but you can generally you use the, both of the terms to describe the same thing Okay. And it looks like what I'm seeing is anting. Yeah, really I could never early. do the RZ ranks. Um, no way. Kind of the same thing as the last VOD review uh, that I talked about with Lexi. You're kind of um, you're using anti before anyone on your team can get value out of them. I don't like this position. Yeah, it looks like we're gonna, you're trying to. They're trying dude, to. Dude, 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 dude. The positioning, man. Yeah, the, generally this is not a good place to hold. Uh, usually, if you're gonna hold tell up them, here, dude, you gotta tell them the spot. The no, don't, no, don't even be up absolutely. there. Tell them the spot. <laughs> no, not that spot. The spot. Right. You know what I'm talking about? Yes, Sursky. That's yeah. the best spot in the game, especially against the widow. True, but that's so like I said, good. If you if you are going to play up here, be looking to play on the stairs. If you are, but if you if you know your mechanics are good enough to play down here, you absolutely want to take this angle. But once again, Is you it... have to be communicating with your team, making sure that, you know, in voice chat or text chat, whatever, just making sure that they, they know that if they push aggressively here, you can't help them. Right. I mean, if they ever push there, if they're not, it doesn't even matter if you help them. Like, they're just going to lose. Yeah, they're going to die. That, now. that's... <laughs> like, that's just my... Uh, I'm just going to... Yeah, because he's doing something. I think... There's no reason why you should be bottom right or not be bottom right because if they step in in that left hallway, like they deserve to die. One, two, there's so much damage from that junk that they're not going to live even if you do heal that. True. And then you're in a bad position. Like, I feel like even though they're bad, like they're bad and they're probably going to die from there anyways, even if you tell them, like, it's just a good habit to have because in, in reality, you're not going to have Hanamura more than like. 10 20 times a month if you're playing who knows a thousand yeah. games i don't know hundreds of games you're not gonna have it <laughs> that many times yeah for sure um but yeah generally on this map this bottom right area very very huge power angle to hold you have you have um you have an effect over pretty much the entire map except for like this right side here um but like think about it from an angle of hitting an anti right you're, you're sitting down here your team gives up high ground or even if they don't, you can look to splash off antis off this back wall. But it's like once they step through and you're down here, you can you can easily pre-aim an anti for when they walk through and hit, you know, three, four, five man anti, uh, allowing your team that is there uh, to potentially get value off of that. That spot is the best spot in the game. Uh, but yeah, it looks like you're playing up this it's close. It's just that easy, Lucio guys. In their back line like you have to play up. that spot. It doesn't matter if you don't feel mechanically confident, like you need to play there. 
you'll get yeah, there for sure you know peaking I mean? against an Arissa hog especially a very punishing comp i never want to peek <laughs> yeah, you're, ju you're just gonna get hook pulled and die and be very sad yeah if you're playing into a an, with an Arisa as ana like communicate pulls with your Arisa too if you you can pull them above shield and nade like six yeah it's, that was a decent nade but you're really yeah. aggressive yeah which your hog is though, so, or your echo hog is. So. Holy yeah. shit! Your hog, hog and echo one on the flank. That's a good nano though. Uh, like we mentioned, nanoing the hog is a it's pretty good, pretty good option here. Um, was it this? Yeah, that was the, that was the hog. And we're on sig hog now. Honestly, oh, wait, what? Like sig hog is like a better. Actually, they're they're low key almost running a meta comp. What the hell is going on? <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is going on? Okay. So Widow goes down. Yeah, stop peeking this, please. You're giving me anxiety. <laughs> yeah, no, you're so close to just getting pulled and done, so. Yeah. Well, they're on Sigog now as well. Well, but oh, yeah. pull. no matter what, it's just never peek that. Yeah, it's it's like they have a drunk guy. He's, he's going to one-shot you. Yeah. Oh, not necessarily, but... Okay, oh, here it comes. Never Back mind. on the way now, they push through. See, this is why I don't like this positioning because you're you should die there every time for just being that close. Yeah, they, they should they should they, they should push you. you. Yeah, now you're in the good spot. Yes, and your widow your widow actually popped off and killed Wait, too. Wait, so this... uh, shit! I wish I had a widow like that on console. <laughs> that didn't M and K. With the assist. Okay, so right there, you got punished for jumping. Well, um, not only just jumping, just not staying in that spot. Yeah, standing on the open. Yeah, like you, that spot you step... is meant to not get killed by Widow. The the yeah. corner of that. Yeah, this this pull, you you kind of like do like a little back and forth behind it, or even just like standing directly behind it if the Widow's hard peeking you. Uh, playing around this, this is this is your big cover, your big piece of cover here. Uh, it'll still allow you to get the same value. You can still go for a sleep and a nade up there. But like you don't need to step up like this. Like there, there's no necessary reason to do that, and it looks like you end up dying for it. And um, I'm doing you spam great. How are you? Also, make sure it's easier oh, for man. her to hit you. Yeah, dude, you're gonna break on his legs jumping that high. Jesus, look at her, <laughs> little look at her, dude. She like she was like her legs broke because you jumped so high. <laughs> oh my lord, I can't jump. Oh, so yeah, but we stepped out. She in the well. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we end up getting punished. My dog is like sniffing around over the place. So keep looking. That's good. Sorry. You guys don't lose this fight. DPS are popping. It looks like spamming jump Joe's pulls again. Meets. And the widow Joe's absolutely <laughs> should kill you every here. time. Yeah. Should. Oh, she does. Yeah. Yeah. Damn, I must be behind further than I thought it was. I'm lucky. Um, I'll yeah, just she... reset the player. Hold up. Oh shit! I just clipped. <laughs> My first clip. I'm so happy. Dub dub dub. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we'll look at it from her POV, just so I can kind of show you exactly how easy it is to hit this shot, even for a console widow, right? Aim assist just does it for him at this point. Yeah, literally. Yeah, dude. She didn't even she, aim. She just let it. She waited she, for she, it. Yeah, she literally just put her crosser where you're gonna land. And just instant tick your head off. I see this looks like it's an alt account, so they may be a little higher SR, but still, it doesn't look it, like it's, it. it's 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 a very high. It's a sorry, it's a very easy shot to hit. So we're making sure we're cutting down those deaths as much as possible. Playing around cover, not jumping. Oh, hello, well, Mentos. We're actually going over your vod right now. He's in he's in chat now. That's oh, not... I didn't know that they were in chat before. Paul, yours. Hi, yeah. YouTube. <laughs> okay there we go we're in the good spot your hog uh, overextends doesn't get killed for it okay trace is on you okay oh uh, that's tough you, you, yeah drop down to point you can like dance around this thing you can like jump from here to here so you still keep this cover jump <gasps> all right well <laughs> <laughs> you know what you. i mean <laughs> you know what i mean but like jump around it so she can't hit you so Wait, where, when, when did they use nade when did they use nade earlier uh they naded the hog who was up there okay that's not bad 
they yeah the hog over extends and they need him yeah so he used nade to try and save him but he got anti so it didn't matter anti the sig but then tracer dives you no, that that was nade. definitely a nade i would have went for anyways so but then yeah, you're yeah, scoping sure. in not behind the wall tracer comes up bam you're dead yep and you maybe could have lived a little bit longer if you got up top but you scoped you were scoped in for too long um just got here we'll watch back later yeah for sure uh, but yeah, staying scoped in too long make it super easy to kill you, super easy to almost one clip you as Tracer or take your head off as Widow. Oh man, when I played console, that was such a pain in the ass though. It's so much easier to kill Tracers on PC, to be honest. I was on at least. Yeah. Unlucky! Yeah, they uh, so dude, sigil, yeah. Come, come out right side spawn every time. It's just safer. Yeah, right side for for sure is always safer. Your widow, your least. widow is absolutely popping. Let's yeah. see if we can kind of help. Joe her out here. Smeets. Okay. Oh, uh, walk on. Yeah, walk on to contest. Oh, uh, uh, don't don't wake that dude up. Oh, you woke him up because that guy. <laughs> yeah, if you hook a, if you if you sleep a hog there and he's full health, don't wake him up. But you probably didn't mean to. Yeah. Uh, Looking for the tracer, I think. Like I said, widow popped off, and your hog did too. Yeah, XT Cobra Z King Z going on the San Francisco <laughs> Shock this upcoming season. <laughs> Look at that hook. Holy shit, he's better than Troy. <laughs> for sure, for sure. So overall, not not too awful, so bad. Um mechanics are pretty solid, but it looks like you're you're just kinda like stuck in this area where you'll like zone in on one thing and you'll kind of forget about the rest of um like the the rest of the parts that go into playing Ana. Uh, you know, making sure that you're not scoped in too long, making sure that you're not giving up positioning too easily, um, jumping obviously. One day your third eye will open and you will climb like ten thousand SR, dude. Just gonna be honest, that's what happened to me. Yeah, I'm a tank player, so I feel too hard. Oh, I see. Sorry, you're a tank player. That makes sense. <laughs> Wait, Mentos is a tank player? Yeah, I guess so. Uh, are you trying to switch to Ana then? Is that what uh, is that what I'm getting? See what he says. The fuck? Um, what the fuck? Let's skip ahead. I guess if he's switching Ana, like I get that. But why would you do Ana if you're a tank player? That's weird. Okay, this guy's a this Dallas Fuel fan. <laughs> Spitfire simp. Oh, shut up, dude! Spitfire is <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Was crazy. Uh, but now now if I say if I'm a shock fan, everyone's gonna be like, ah, oh, bandwagon, bandwagon. <laughs> okay. Uh picking the hog into him. Okay. You can wait a little bit longer to sleep oh. him. You don't, have, you don't have to sleep him <laughs> immediately. I mean it don't matter. It's sure. a trap. I'm just trying to keep your hog oh. your tank. Okay, your other tank tank is Sigma, but he died immediately. So now we're waiting for a hog. Okay, so we'll, let's look at their comp once again. So they have the Torb and they have the Ash with a Mercy Pocket. So basically the same as Widow, she's going to be able to one-shot you. Uh, so ugh, you're going to need to be hugging this wall as much as physically possible. Mm, yeah, I guess so. Not necessarily hugging it to choke because Dynamite, but... Well, not, you know, not at the choke, but like here-ish, like around the around this tree kind of thing. Um just in case you know she peeks up here or up here so it's you know at least harder to kill you because you know if she does dynamite you have the health pack behind you to cancel it out or need or need yeah. but health pack, which is suboptimal so need on yourself yeah sub suboptimal you need yourself uh you just enjoy being good at all heroes and roles i don't you don't want any weak points in my game awesome that's really cool to see um like, like i mentioned earlier Flexor. I, I, yeah, Flexbear. I, I I try to do the same thing with myself. I try to keep um I try to play at least every role. What DPS? So, okay, just because I'm thirty two hundred on DPS, don't I get Hey, my DPS four K it goes silly. Actually actually wait, hold on. My DPS is like thirty four almost thirty four now. I'm almost masters, man. Don't make fun of me. <laughs> we could do a we could DPS duo. Like, hell yeah. I'll just int on my main account. <laughs> okay. Actually, I think I already did Genji meta, but 
to do. Okay. Um, big sleep. Yeah. When we're going, when we are going for the sleep on the ball, though, you can generally just like look where he's going to slam instead of like following him. So that way, like you're already prepared and you have to make a smaller flick. Makes sense. On console, it's like much easier though to just track it. You think so? I I played on console. Freaking, it's so clunky to play. It, like the the aim style you have to have one on is kind of weird. Yeah, that's why I'm sure. I'm kind of trying not to say oh mechanics. Yeah. Uh, actually, I do have recommendations though for the sensitivity you should have. Oh, uh, yeah. I don't I don't know what this peak is. Oh. You're trying to trying to peak Bob, but you're walking in front of your tanks for no reason. Do, 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 do. So yeah, easily preventable death right there. Uh, make sure making sure we're not going in front of our tanks. Um, even that rotation onto the right side wasn't really needed. Uh, just walking, you know, in front in front of their whole team, it's not super optimal. If he is in chat, um. Do you know what your uh, friendly aim assist sensitivity is? Yeah. Do you, Do you know what your yeah friendly friendly aim assist sensitivity? Friendly aim other, assist, other, not total yeah. aim assist, but friendly aim assist. Yeah. Cause there's an aim assist setting that you can have that pretty much makes it aimbot. <laughs> like, <laughs> like it doesn't take control of your reticle, but you just hit all your shots on your friends. Uh, wow, he, said 30, jumping. he said 35 ish uh 35 okay mine was at 30 when i played on console okay so yeah, around the same area that's not bad yeah. okay really preventable death again peeking in front of the tanks and uh jumping <laughs> you're, you're, you're comboing the two worst things you could possibly do yeah so that is true so dying is game. pretty unhealthy in this game you know and in Very life, true. it's the most unhealthy thing, actually. Just just a little bit of trivia. <laughs> uh, kind of wasted both your abilities there. Didn't really get any use out of them. Maybe trying to anti the ball. But we slept in the I shield. I disagree. I'd say nade yourself after ball slams. And maybe if you hit the... Well, yeah, okay. That's yeah, I was, saying. I was saying we kind of wasted the abilities there. Yeah. So... I think that's what it was. Just like three, you're not wrong. So, all right, keep going here. Okay, we're switching over to first. Yeah, they do win first point. Yeah, Baptiste. Still... Oof. Honestly, honestly, you can literally just stay on a. Or go Moira. No. Yeah, or even Moira. Yeah. <laughs> Lock the nails, dude. <laughs> um, but like, look at your team comp, right? Like Hog, Sigma, Junkrat, Tracer. None of these and Lucio, you're like none of these guys are gonna be playing together. So you can hit multiple people with your right clicks. And like if they are, it's gonna be like two people. Right. Yeah, that's like, kinda of, that's kinda of true. It's kinda of true. Yeah, it's it's kinda of true. But yeah, Ana and spam is chaos. So I mean I can see why you want to go back. I'd say Moira. For sure. For sure. Okay. Maybe trying to do a little bit of da damage as well. Okay. Whoa, Amosis looks so sketchy. I haven't played a console since Bab came out. It looks weird. <laughs> I played um, console and PC when Bab came out, but then I just quit console because why? Would yeah. I? Yeah. So your team killed a decent amount of players, so we just look for damage. Ana ends up killing you though. Back is a Bap is a comfort pick. Should have stuck with Ana. Okay. Bap is good. He's Bap. just weird in this comp. Your Bap Lucio is, is redditing. <laughs> yeah. Bap is just in a weird spot right now. He's not super strong with what's uh with what's meta right now since uh Arista and Sig are pretty much out. Well Sig is still in somewhat, but Arista's no bueno. Yeah, once again spamming that jump button. Especially on like you know, with BAP, like you have you have those like boots, so, like you want it, you want to spam jump almost. But, like most of the time, it's just not worth it, especially against uh, characters like Ash and Widow. Okay. It's just weird on console. High Claude ish. 
strafing on yeah. consoles is a shit show. Like it's so difficult. Yeah, true. Like A was just really close, so I always thought it was decent. <laughs> but it's not good. <laughs> Jumping <Yeah>. is bad. <laughs> Okay, walking up here, doing damage. Window the door. You can probably wait till you push through to window here. Obviously, like it gives you guys the the high ground here. But once you push past it, what's what's the window gonna do, right? Do it, yeah. Do it as you engage. Do it either as you engage or like here. Once you start to push through, mm. right? So that this way, this way you get at least you get more value on it for a point. Like here, you're getting nothing out of it. So at least wait till your team is start to, starting to push through. Because you did it so early that their sig just walked away, and although your Ryan pins him, it's you know your team already went lost a player, so it's not really just getting not really getting a ton of value. From a macro perspective, if I'm running a Ryan, I definitely just want to swing that corner and put it pretty deep. Put yeah. him uh, giggity giggity. <clears throat> Do we have, do we have lamp here? I don't think. We <laughs> That's so tragic. We miss shots. Ah, uh, four seconds off of the lamp. Off of the lamp. A little unfortunate. I would stay high ground too. Yeah, that went definitely. on point. Yeah, definitely didn't need to. Didn't need to follow. High ground is super strong in this. Um, on on this map specifically, on on the attack. If like if your team's on point and you're controlling high ground as honor or bap. It is like it is almost impossible for the enemy team to reclaim that point, uh, you know, as long as you're hitting shots right and uh, keep, able to keep your team alive. It's just super hard to get uh, uh, to, for them to take it. Yeah, there's an Ash just chilling. Yeah, <laughs> she should have killed you there. Got a got a call for your team to shield that that yeah. rotation. Um... Okay. I I personally would have gone up the stairs here. I wouldn't have stayed out in the open like that. They didn't focus you down. You got lucky. But if you're just standing out in the open like that without a shield, uh, you may just get screwed over. Stay high ground again. Oh, you do take a Nice. Dude, you're tunnel visioning that soldier. Oh, man. It's okay. okay. Didn't need ammo. Ammo your team on point here, right? You're, you're, uh, you and the, I mean, you I understand the, the thought process, but just ammo the team. Yeah, and if you are going to ammo yourself, throw it behind this, right? Because uh, right now the Ash is the only person who can kill you, right? This Diva has to stay on point. Uh, Ash is dead. Like, so if you are going to ammo yourself to save yourself from the Ash, make sure you know she's alive so you can get value out of it, and then place it. I don't know, man. That turret's it. pretty scary. <laughs> the one well, health Diva is gonna come get you. <laughs> No, the turret, man. The turret. The Torb turret. It's not even shoot. Yeah. The one the one shooting at the Ryan it's, Yeah, it's so scary. So, we're going down. Dude, imagine if you were at the Ryan and Hog there. Oh! Oh! No, good point. No! 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 You guys probably <laughs> just lost from that. Oh, it's tragic. Um, yeah, we have to reset the lucky. Yeah, your team Aww. definitely. If you had saved ammo for your team there, you could have saved your Ryan. So here we'll go, we'll go back to show you exactly what I'm that talking about. That dead ass would have won the game. That's so you, tragic. Yeah, you. If you hadn't ammoed yourself here, your Ryan gets anteed. You toss ammo at him right here. He lives, kills the Ana, and then wins the game. Right. Like you, you already have this window, so no one can really challenge you in Soldier. Except for Ash, but it, you know, if she's focusing you guys, she's not dumb. On point, she, she, yeah, she's throwing. She will lose everyone. So, uh, yeah, making sure we're getting more value out of ammo. It looks like you're you're just kind of throwing it around, like whenever you have it. But yeah, you could you could have saved your Ryan and your Hog there, and uh, could have potentially won your team the the entire points or game. No, so you definitely would have won the game. There's there is no telling. Or if your hog would have stayed alive, you would bam, which one right there. That's just yeah. tragic. Yeah, with how close you guys were, it's really, really unfortunate. Oh, stay we'll point, stay you. point, stay point. But once again, don't need the ammo. Complete waste. Like your soldier is probably gonna die here. Should 
trying to peek your ash. He gets beat off. Ugh, the region. Oh, big sl- Wait, that didn't slam the hog? The fuck? Right. Focusing a little bit too much on damage here. Tank's taking a lot of damage. There you go, big ammo. Okay, okay. <laughs> and your Ryan walks out of it. Right. Your Ryan presses charge <laughs> out of the immortality field. For glory! For honor! <laughs> for Azeroth! Yeah. So, it looks like a little bit better ammo usage could have potentially won you guys the point here. Not potentially. Would have won you the yeah, points. Well, would have won. And then the second one here, uh, potentially as well. Uh, but we focus a little too much on damage here for a second. Your Ryan gets too low because of it. If your Ryan doesn't get low, you don't have to necessarily ammo him at, um, immediately so you can ammo someone else. Those bad mechanics yeah. aren't even bad, though. Just the the Immorts are kind of sus. Yeah, Immorts are kind of kind of sus. And then maybe um, the Pulse usage or whatever it's called, Burst. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm not really going to worry about that. I'm just saying the yeah. Immorts are the big one Immorts that you got. One. Yeah. For sure. And then making sure we're not tunnel visioning on damage. Um, like this kind of positioning, I want to see it all the time, right? From Ana and Bap. Um, I mean, it's still a little bit far out, but it's better. Yeah, maybe like be playing top right here. Just playing the bit. corner. Like, yeah, just a little right, bit yeah. to the right. Yeah, or even the corner. From yeah. where he is right now. Yeah. For sure. Like the corner here, even. Uh, can give you Jiggle more value. Peak. So. Um, so yeah, overall, not too bad. Uh, we'll play, sorry. We are playing Fall uh, Guys soon, bad, Log. Though, making sure, so don't worry making about sure it. that we're thinking about positioning, though. Thinking to yourself, like, okay, what, what can give me the most value with my positioning? Like, from where I'm standing, like, will I get my team the most value uh, versus, like, another position? Um, you know, just thinking through and just learning them. Because uh, this is the biggest thing is, like, learning from trial and error. Um, so like next time you go on Hanamura, try out different positions. Don't just go to wherever you're comfortable. Go to, uh, you know, where, you know, where you think or where you know someone else has told you will give you more value, right? Um, just yeah, a lot of plat is just like initial understanding, and then actually that's the entire game until you get like yeah. two or three, dude. <laughs> sure. I'm gonna be honest. There's so many kids that don't understand this kind of stuff still after playing and like grinding. Yeah, mostly because they just don't try to improve. But you know, if you're trying to make an effort, you'll you'll get there. Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, yeah, and, and obviously learn from your mistakes. You know. Yes. Like, okay, what what did, what did I do wrong here? How can I do it better next time? Right. Um, also, jumping. Unbind your jump if you have to. Don't jump ever. <laughs> yeah, just just stop hitting that button. Like, just keep your your right finger, your right thumb on the the joystick. Yeah. Or oh, claw. Yeah. Yeah, or yeah, depending on what you're, what you're using. Um, <laughs> uh, what's up, uh, piece of me? Um, but yeah, pretty much. <laughs> dude, my fucking the players on my team found out my IRL name, dude, and they're just upset. Greg. <laughs> anyway. Gregory. <laughs> uh, so yeah, um, I was, like on PC, I literally like I have my crouch button on left alt, so I so I literally ha literally have my so entire thumb weird. off of jump. I know it. I know it's weird, but it works for me because I don't. I don't have my thumb Dude, on jump. It's just so uncomfortable. Uh, left stick is your jump button. Really? So pressing down uh -huh. is jump. And you're still spinning oh, I mean, that much. That's okay. I'd put. I'd yeah. put toggle crouch on left analog, dude. Yeah. Put. Yeah. Put crouch on. Uh, on left stick. Yeah. Just get, so. Dude, that would be so huge. You don't need jump that much. For sure. Well, maybe I'm bad, but. If, like for like you can Dude, you're gonna crouch here. you're gonna crouch, you crouch yeah. and then you jump i mean it's just because controllers the controller was like clunky yeah true I, 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 was like, yeah, I, had, I had an elite controller so like i had buttons in the bottom so it wasn't an issue but hold up i'm yeah. getting my xbox controller out <laughs> for stream back so, yeah, in my it. day i used to play xbox on a <laughs> Number one national Ana Xboxer, dude. <laughs> so, uh, uh, I think that's uh, gonna be it though. Oh um, shit! <laughs> I, th I think that'll be. I, yeah, I think that. I think that'll be it. That's uh, pretty much all we're gonna cover. So, thanks for sending in the vod, dude. It was, uh, it's always fun. Uh, 
the console players helping them out. So console uh, gamers for life <laughs> until you get yeah. a PC. Keep grinding and you'll get better for sure. Definitely just keep playing the game. And then you will win the game. So uh, yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Thanks for being on the vibe and uh, hope you have a good day. So yeah, thanks.